first thing you need to do is get into terminal as you know linux uses terminal for basically everything so now we will write some lines of commands i will provide the commands in the description you can just copy and paste them or you can type them out it's your choice now these are the commands we will need as you can see we just need three commands to install it so linux makes it very easy to install now we just paste it then hit enter after you do that it will ask for your password give it and hit enter then wait for a while after it downloads we can continue on the next step for any of you who is wondering why the heck does it look like mac and i'm talking about linux because this is a linux distribution that looks exactly like mac i'm making a video on it and you can soon and now if you are wondering what this code is doing or this command is doing it's basically downloading the dev file which we need to install in our system now if you are using something else or some linux distro that is not debian then this method may not work for you but you can try but i don't think it works other than debian so please be careful while you do this it won't break anything but just be careful so what this is doing is this is downloading the dev file that is required to install github desktop in your system after this is done we need something to install it and that something is gdebi or gdebi however you like to call it we need that to install this package after it's done doing the previous thing we need to get that gdb or whatever that for that you need this command or you can type it out remember all of this is in the description we should check that mine is already installed so i don't need it you, you will get an installation then we need to install the package so after we do this it will take some time and install everything we need then we just wait for it to install and after it's done we can log in. Assuming everything you did was correct and nothing went wrong, you can just log into it from your applications. Now it should be in your application, you need to find where your application is. In this case, if it's down there or Ubuntu, it should be down there. But if it's not, you need to find it. It should be named GitHub Desktop. Now you will log in how you normally would. Just click there and it will take you to Chrome or the default browser that you have set. And then it will ask you to log in. Now my credentials are already here. So I can just hit login and it will want verification from my mobile just a sec let me do that then after you are verified you can log in just hit xfc open and it should take you to github now this is a key ring. What it does is secures the network so that you can have application ask for password that if they can use the internet or not. So in this case you need to set it and after it's done you can just hit continue or submit and it will set up everything for you. Now you can just clone the repository you want to use and then you're done. You have successfully installed github desktop on your linux machine now when you do remember to check where you are using your github desktop from 
in my case i put it in down the documents check documents and once you get there you will see something called github here you can see the file the github and everything you put in this will be count as a change in your repository you can see everything's here and it all seems to be working just fine 